basketball fans. And once again, welcome to the auxiliary gym, the Red Zone Junior here at Hicksville Junior High. We're getting ready for the second half of our Thursday doubleheader of Junior High Boys basketball action. Striker Panthers in town. Taking on the Hicksville Aces. Seventh grade game went the Panthers' way. 44-25. So we're going to see if the Aces can bounce back here in the eighth grade half. Our coverage brought to you by Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, Ohio, and the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. I'm Bill Murphy calling the action. Chris Warner running the camera tonight. I'm still sounding pretty bad because of this cold. And we're ready to jump ball and get things underway. Tip controlled by the Aces. Aaron Klima, number 20, with the uh, ball. Hands it off to number 30, Justin West. Shot up no good. Mateo Villanueva tosses the ball to Matt Fralick. Down low, in and out, no good. A travel. That was number 32, Jacob Gaskill. We'll come back the other way. And another travel and another turnover. Number 13, Tyler Dams. Inbounds the ball, but it's stolen away by Maverick Keysbury, who puts it up and puts it in. Inbounds to Freilich. Freilich quickly up the floor. Shot no good. West grabs the board for the Aces. Tosses over to Balzer, number 13. Balzer to Klima. Out to Keysbury. Keysbury takes another shot, no good. That comes down to Villanueva. We'll come back the other way with the Panthers. Villanueva over to Frederick, Freilich rather. Stolen by Klima. Shot up and good. Count it and he's fouled. Aaron Klima with the hoop and he'll go to the free throw line. First foul of the night on the Panthers. Klima's shot is good. Inbounds to Freilich. Quickly up the floor. Ball knocked away. Loose on the floor, but it's scooped up by Dams. Whistle. And that'll be on Klima. That'll be team foul number one on the Aces. And the reach in. Villanueva, down low to Freilich, shot up and good. So Freilich gets his first bucket of the night. Kick back to West, West, long air ball, no good. And we're gonna have a whistle underneath the basket and I think that they might get number 34, Gordon. Gordon gets the personal. That's team foul number two on the Aces. Gaskell. Looking to inbounds. And it's out of bounds again on the sideline. Like it's going to stay with the Panthers. Gaskell, long inbounds. And they're going to have to hurry if they want to save that one. And he'll step on the end line. It'll be a turnover to the Aces. Freilich was trying, but he couldn't quite get there fast enough. So Klima will toss the ball into Balzer. Balzer back to Klima. Keysbury. 
Jesus will move things around. Klima into the paint, kicks it back out to Balzer. Balzer will drive in. Klima, turn around jumper up off the front of the iron and no good. Villanueva grabs the board for Stryker. Villanueva gets his pocket picked by West. West tosses it over to Klima. Klima couldn't get a hold of it to take a shot, but keeps it under control and keeps it in the hands of the Aces. Spin move. And a reach in. I think that's going to be on Freilich, and that'll be team foul number two in the game for Paulding. Uh, Jaden Rathmull, number 30. Klima gets it into Balzer, who quickly puts up the shot, no good. Rebound grabbed by Gaskell. To Villanueva. Villanueva. Tosses it over to Pace, back to Villanueva. Almost loses it, then he does. And a travel on West as he goes to his knees to try to grab the loose ball. Shot is up and no good. Klima grabs it. Aaron quickly down the floor, lays it up off the glass, no good. Gasco comes up with it. And then it's stripped away from him, but the Aces can't get the ball before it goes out of bounds. And so Stryker will get the ball back. Side court. Dams gets the ball into Villanueva. He'll put it up, partially blocked. Balzer comes up with it for the Aces. Balzer feeds it off to Keysbury. He'll kick it back to Klima from three-point land. No good. Gaskell grabs the board. Over to Villanueva, and we'll come back the other way with the Panthers. Spin move. Tosses it over to Pace. Pace back to Villanueva. Three-point shot is off the hoop. No good. Push off underneath the basket. A whistle. That'll be on the floor. It'll be team foul number three on Stryker. I think they're going to tag number 13, Tyler Dams, with the infraction. And it'll be Ace's ball underneath the basket. Klima will get it into Balzer. And Brady will bring the ball up. Hot up off the glass, no good. That was Mendoza in the game now. And the putback from Klima is good. Five points now for Aaron. Gaskell down to Pace. Pace puts the shot up, it'll be short. Keysbury saves it on the baseline, but he tosses it back in to one of the striker players, but then he loses the handle, and we wind up with, a, I believe, a jump ball as everybody was lunging for it. Loose basketball on the court. And we're going to have a timeout as we'll get ready to get back into action here shortly. Coach A.J. Clausing calling the uh, timeout for the Aces. Minute 41 left in our opening quarter of the eighth grade contest. And so far, Aces are in control with a five-point lead here, seven to two. Now I have the warning buzzer sound and Aces and Panthers will get ready to break huddle here. Aces back on the floor first. It's going to be Klima, Balzer, West, Mendoza, and Keysbury. And here come the Panthers, Villanueva, 
Rathmull, Gaskell, Dams, and Pace. Gaskell almost gets it knocked loose, but Villanueva is able to grab it. And that'll be a reach in, I think, a push off on Mendoza. That'll be team foul number three on the Aces. Villanueva looking things over, finally manages to get the ball away, and it's knocked out of bounds by Mendoza, so it'll stay with the Panthers. They'll move over and inbounds it from the side. Gets it into Villanueva. Guarded by Balzer. Bounce pass over to Gaskill. Back to Villanueva. Off the hands of Dams and out of bounds. Turnover to the Aces with a minute 17 left in our opening quarter. Balzer across midcourt. Brady strong to the hoop off the back of the rim and no good. Rebound striker. Dams with the ball on the wing. Tries to bounce it in to Gaskell. Knocked out of bounds by the Aces. Panthers will get it on the baseline now. Villanueva. Launches it. Gaskell saves it before he goes across court, but it's picked off by Balzer. Lays it up, good. He's fouled and he'll go to the line. Brady balls are with the bucket and the trip to the free throw line. And I think that that's gonna be Gaskill picking up the foul, team foul number four on the Panthers. Brady balls are at the line, shooting a free throw. Leading nine to two. In and out, no good. Keysbury grabs the hoop, or grabs the basketball. Gets it back to Balzer, top of the key, over to Klima on the wing. Klima will put the ball up, in and out, and that one's no good. And Stryker will grab the rebound. Villanueva will bring it up with under 30 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Villanueva working against Balzer. Team foul number four, I guess you're gonna say. Somebody pushed off for the aces, okay. Dam into, Dams gets it into Villanueva. Villanueva to Pace. Pace and it's stolen on the pass by Balzer. Lays it up a little bit short. Mendoza comes up with it, gets it to Klima for three. No good. Gasco grabs the rebound, and that's the end of the first quarter. A couple good opportunities for the Aces, but just not enough on the layup from Balzer. And Klima's three-point shot is a little too strong. We've played the opening six minutes, and at the end of the first quarter, it's the Aces leading the Panthers in the eighth-grade boys game. Nine to two, our score. Got a little time here between quarters, so we'll say another thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, and Jim Schmidt Ford. As we always say, if you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new, pre-owned, be it car, truck, van, SUV, stop by, check out the great selection they have on the lots at either dealership right here in Hicksville, or you can check out the entire deal inventory online at jimschmidtauto.com. And also Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, proudly serving the Hicksville area's health care needs for over six, well, for 65 years this year. Lots of terrific programs, classes, and more available at Community Memorial Hospital. Find out more by checking out their website, www.cmhosp.com. Community Memorial Hospital, 
and the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, proudly underwriting Aces basketball coverage on Hicksville Community Television this season. And that'll be a foul on West. And that'll be team foul number five on the Aces. As he just waylaid Villanueva on the inbounds pass. Panthers with the ball. We are underway in the second quarter. Stolen by Keysbury. Maverick will lay it up and in. Four points now for Keysbury. Aces up 11 to 2. Freilich. Drives towards the baseline and loses the basketball out of bounds. Klima into Balzer. Balzer for three. Count it. Freilich nearly gets the ball stripped away by Klima. Bounce pass, and there's nobody there. Last touch, though, I think, by the Aces. So it should stay with the Panthers. Yep, I think Gordon tried to grab it as it went by, but then he held himself up, but he got it just enough of the ball to make it last touch by the Aces. Going to wave it at Gaskill. Gaskill up off the glass, no good. Keysbury grabs the board. <clears throat> Keysbury to Klima. Back to Keysbury. Balls are now. So I'll work the wheel a little bit here. West. No good. Klima grabs the rebound. Klima to Keysbury for three. That one's no good. And Villanueva will grab it for the Panthers. Fourteen two aces on top. Mike Donovan off the seventh grade team. In for the Panthers. You get five quarters of eligibility, so the seventh graders, if they elect to dress, can uh, to dress them can spend some time playing. Klima out to Keysbury. Keysbury shot no good. Freilich, back to Villanueva. Villanueva in a little problem, but he manages to get the shot away. Cleared out of there. Comes down to West for the Aces. Tosses it over to Balzer. Balzer to Klima. Klima into the paint, back out to Balzer. Now Balzer will drive to the hoop, puts it up, no good. Ball loose on the floor. Keysbury comes up with it. He puts it up off the rim and no good. <clears throat> Villanueva gets it across half court. Over to Donovan. Donovan to Freilich. Freilich puts it up. No good. Balzer grabs the rebound. To Klima, puts it up, off the glass, no good. And Gordon is attacked on his attempt to put it back. He'll hit the deck. I think it's going to be on Freilich, and I think that's going to send Alex Gordon to the line to shoot, too. Be team foul number five on the striker Panthers. Alex Gordon at the line for the Aces. He'll shoot two. Gets the first one. Freilich will be out of the game, and Rethnel will come in to spell him. Gordon's second shot also good. Also into the game now, number 40, Bradley Crowell for the Aces. 3.14 to go before halftime. Villanueva with the ball for the striker Panthers. 
Out to Donovan. Back to Villanueva. Villanueva from the free throw line, no good. Gaskell has it stripped, gets back into the hands of Villanueva. He comes up with it. His shot's no good. Aces rebound, balls are with it to Klima. Klima, good look from three-point land, no good. Klima will drive in, put it up, and that one goes down. Crowell with a bit of an assist there. With the rebound, feeding Klima. Aces up to 18 to two. And it's off of Donovan's hands and out of bounds. So the Aces get the ball back on far side, midcourt. 2.27 left to go in the half. Brady Balzer takes it across half court. Klima on the wing. Klima sets for three. That'll be no good. But the putback from Crawl is good. Villanueva. As we close in on the two minute mark, his shot is short. Grabbed by Crawl. Crowell gets it over to Balzer, to Klima down in the corner. Aaron, back to Brady. Brady will drive in, feed it over to West. West will take a shot, it'll be a long two if it goes down. Rebound to the Panthers. And Villanueva. Donovan, and we'll have a foul. And that's gonna be on Crowell, number 40. That'll be team foul number six on the Aces, so next uh, foul will put the Panthers into the bonus. Zach Bell into the game for the Aces, number 14. Villanueva gets the ball into Donovan. Over to Gaskill. Gaskill takes the shot and it goes. First bucket of the night for Jake Gaskill. 125. Balls her up and good. And our clock has stopped. Oh, there we go. Okay. Went for a while there with the clock. Holding steady at 125. Out of bounds. Get things all resituated. All right. Villanueva gets the ball inbounds to Donovan. Feeds it down to Gaskill. Gaskill gets it tied up, taken away by Mendoza. Mendoza gets it to Balzer. Balzer. Feeds Crowell, and Crowell lays it up and lays it in. Crowell makes it 24 to four as we're under a minute to go before halftime. Villanueva getting it across half court. West seals it away. West goes to the hoop, lays it up, and good. West finally gets his name in the scorebook. Villanueva come back the other way. to Donovan. Donovan tosses it out to Dams. Gaskill, ball loose on the floor, still being scrummed for. West comes up with it for the Aces, 17 seconds. Balzer with 10. He'll drive in, kick it out to Mendoza, he'll lay it up and good. Mendoza with the bucket. Villanueva at the buzzer. No. And that'll take us to halftime. At the half, it's the Aces leading the Stryker Panthers in the eighth grade boys basketball contest. 28 to four, our halftime score. We're gonna take a break, but stay tuned. Chris and I will be back and we'll have all the exciting second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV.
Welcome back as we're just about ready to get the second half of action underway in this eighth grade boys basketball game. If you're just joining us at halftime, our score, the Aces leading the Stryker Panthers 28-4. to Unofficial scoring in the first half for the Panthers. Well, it's pretty cut and dry. Matt Fralick had a bucket for two, and uh, Jake Gaskell had a bucket for two, and that's their scoring. On the Aces' side, a couple of Aces with seven points. Brady Balzer had a couple of field goals and a three-pointer for seven. And uh, Aaron Klima, three field goals and a free throw for seven. Four points in the first half for Maverick Keysbury and uh, Bradley Crowell. And uh, two points each for Alex Gordon, Justin West, and J.R. Mendoza. Aces will have the ball to start the third quarter. Six minutes on the clock. Bill Murphy calling the action. Chris Warner running the camera. Glad to have you with us, and we're underway. Balls are to Klima, to Keysbury. Keysbury puts it up off the side of the backboard, no good. Jake Cadwell from the seventh grade slot squad on the floor to start the third quarter. For the striker Panthers, he loses it and that'll be over and back. So turnover to the Aces. It's Klima, Keysbury, Gordon, West, and Balzer on the floor for the Aces. Villanueva, Fralick, Cadwell, Pace, and Gaskill on the floor. Push off. Well, that was for the Stryker Panthers, I should say. Push off against Stryker. That'll be team foul number one on the Panthers. And a common foul on the floor. Aces have the ball. Klima inbounds to West. Puts it up. No good. Gaskill comes up with the rebound for Stryker. Gets it to Cadwell. Cadwell. Bounce pass to Villanueva. On the wing. Villanueva looking for some help. Gets it off to Fralick. Fralick. Dribbles off the top of his foot and out of bounds. So back to the aces. Klima inbounds to Balzer. Balzer walks the ball up. Keysbury. Klima top of the key. Klima spin move into the paint. Puts it up. No good. Gordon. That'll be a whistle. Team foul number one on the Aces. Over the back, going for that rebound. Freilich on the wing. Stolen by Keysbury. Keysbury puts it up off the glass, a little too strong. Does not go down. Balls are tried to follow it up and winds up taking the ball out of bounds. Turn it back over to the Panthers. And Cadwell will bring it up. Freilich on the wing now. Freilich tried to get it in to... Gaskill goes out of bounds and to the aces. Brady Balzer. Cross half court. Klima on the wing. Klima driving in on the baseline, feeds it over to Gordon. Gordon goes to the hoop and he's going to draw the foul from Gaskill and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Gaskell picks up the personal, team foul number two for the Panthers. And Alex Gordon at the line. Off the front of the iron, no good. He'll get one more. No scoring yet so far from either team in this third quarter. Mendoza will check into the game for the Aces. Gordon. 
gets the second one. Twenty nine to four. Cadwell to Freilich. And Mendoza will get tabbed for the reach in. New team foul number two on the aces. Gaskill will step out and in for him will be Rethmel. For a striker, Villanueva. Off the back of West, arm, but not able to get it under control. Lines up with Cadwell, and Stryker retains possession. Over to Freilich. Down low to Rethmull. Shot up to Pace. No good. Rethmull loses it, and it's laid in by Balzer. Cadwell now as Stryker tries to reset the offense. To Freilich on the wing. Freilich to Villanueva. To Cadwell again. Back to Freilich. Freilich loses the dribble. It's scooped up by West. West to Balzer. Balzer. Will be fouled. And that'll be on Freilich. That'll be team foul number three. And I think that that might be number three or maybe even number four on Freilich. It's number three, but 31 to four. Aces with the lead and the ball. Klima inbounds on the baseline to West. It gives it right back to Klima. Takes a shot from the corner, no good. Rebound grabbed by Crowell. Crowell to West. West from the three-point arc, no good. And that'll go off of a striker player out of bounds, so it should stay with the Aces. Klima set to handle the inbounds. Gets it into Mendoza. And back to Klima. Klima driving in him the high traffic area. Puts it up off the glass and good. Nine points now for Aaron tonight. Cadwell. Bounce pass to Gaskill. Puts it up and good. Long two for Jake Gaskill. Four points on the evening for him now. Klima to Mendoza. JR, three-pointer, air ball, saved by West, but the inbounds is snatched by Cadwell for Stryker. He'll toss it off to Pace, to Gaskill, Gaskill. That one's no good. Mendoza grabs the rebound, tosses it over to West with a minute 35 left in the third quarter. Klima loses the handle on the dribble as he tries to drive into the paint. Winds up going out of bounds. Last touched by Stryker, so the Aces will hang on. 129. Bell checks into the game for the Aces, wearing number 14. And coming on for Stryker is uh, Lamon Marino. Santiago Limon Marino. Klima to Crowell, puts it up, no good. Put back by Gordon is no good. Gordon's going to try for another one, and that one goes down. Alex Gordon finally gets it to go through the cylinder. 35 to 6. Cadwell working around. Under a minute. Trying to get it down into Gaskill. Gaskill loses the dribble. Mendoza picks it up. Gives it to Klima. Klima 
Kicks it back out to Mendoza for three. Off the iron, no good. Ball grabbed by Cadwell. Cadwell to Villanueva for three. Off the iron, no good. Gordon grabs the board, tosses it to Klima. To Mendoza, who lays it up off the glass and good. Nice looking transition move there. Aces go up 37 to six. Cadwell with 10 seconds, gets it to Villanueva. Down low to Pace. Pace trying to put it up. Got guys in his face. Villanueva's got a good look at the hoop, puts it up and puts it through. The buzzer sounds and that's the end of the third quarter. We've played three in this eighth grade contest and our score after three quarters, it's the homestanding Aces 37 and the Stryker Panthers eight. Well, we'll get ready for the fourth and final quarter. And once again, we'll say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters here on Hicksville Community Television, Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, Ohio, celebrating 65 years of serving the health care needs of the Hicksville area. Check them out online, www.cmhosp.com. And the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, and Jim Schmidt Ford, the Jim Schmidt truck lot, and of course online at jimschmidtauto.com. We want to thank them both so very much. Not only underwriting our junior high, but actually all of our broadcast action for Aces Sports for the entire 2018-19 school year. So whenever you see Aces basketball, whether it's junior high, freshman, junior varsity, or varsity action, make sure you say a big thank you to the good folks at Jim Schmidt's family of automotive dealership or the fine staff at Community Memorial Hospital. They're the ones to make it possible. Community Memorial Hospital and the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Our Aces Sports broadcast underwriters on Hicks TV. Pace almost loses the ball, but gets it back. Villanueva goes to the bucket, puts it up. Shot does not go down, but he is fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. So clock will stop, and Villanueva at the charity stripe. Let's see what he can do here. First shot, no good. He'll get one more. Second shot also no good. Gordon comes up with the rebound for the Aces. Gets it to Keysbury. Back to Gordon on the baseline. He'll put it up off glass and good. Seven points now for Alex Gordon. Villanueva over to Dams. Dams gets it to Freilich. A lot of mustard on the pass to Rethmill. It bounced off his forearm and it's taken away by the Aces. Keysbury, spin move, puts it up off glass, no good. Freilich grabs the board for the Panthers. Gets it to Villanueva. Over to Dams. Dams, crowded pretty good. That's a DeFreeze, number 21 for the Aces. So now three team fouls for Hicksville and for Stryker. Freilich to the hoop, up off glass and good. Matt Freilich, second bucket of the night. He's got four points, makes it 39 to 10. Bell with the ball. Gets it back to Crowell, to Keysbury. Keysbury to Bell. And we're going to have a reach in. 
That'll be team foul number four. It'll be Ace's ball out of bounds. Crowell to Keysbury. Keysbury is going to be tripped by Freilich. Freilich, then he might have fouled out. I'm not sure he was, I'm not sure if he had four or five before that. But Freilich will sit down. Team foul number five for the Panthers. Long three, not. Mendoza grabs the board. Keysbury to Crowell. Crowell, long two, no good. Mendoza grabs the board again. Mendoza to Keysbury on the wing. Maverick will put up the runner, no good. And that time Crowell will grab the board. And he'll give it to Maverick. Maverick feeds it inside. Bell's going to attempt the shot, and he'll get hacked. That'll be team foul number six on Stryker, which means that after this, the Aces will be shooting one and one. And it's a two-shot foul, so Zach Bell at the line to shoot two with 3.50 left to go in the game. Bell's first shot, good. Got the nice bounce, the friendly roll. Bell gets one more. Misses that one. And we're gonna have a foul, I think that's gonna be on Mendoza, over the back on the rebound. That'll be team foul number four on the Aces. Dams inbounds to Villanueva. Guarded by Keysbury. Villanueva works his way in, tosses it over to Le LeBeau, who's in now. LeBeau's another seventh grader. For striker, Villanueva puts it up and good. Keysbury to Bell down in the corner. Jump ball as LeBeau tries to take the ball away from him. Possession arrow favors the aces. Crowell will get ready to inbounds it. Gets it in to Keysbury. Keysbury to Crowell. Crowell almost loses a dribble, gets it back. Keysbury will launch a three. No good. And LeBeau grabs the rebound for his striker. Gets it to Pace and Pace. Travel. Dragged his foot, trying to get the ball under control. So the Aces will get it back with three minutes and one second left in the game, leading 40 to 12. He's buried to Crowell. Mendoza back to Crowell. And back to Keysbury. Bell. No good. Dams grabs the rebound for Stryker to Villanueva. We'll bring it up the court. Over to LeBeau. LeBeau drives in, puts the ball up off glass. No good. Keysbury grabs the rebound. And he's going to be fouled, I believe, by Rethmel. And that will be number seven. So the Aces will go to the line. And they'll be shooting one and one. Aces go into the bonus with 2.26 left in the contest. Have a brief conference at the scores table to make sure everything is taken care of. They're going to say that they had a, an error on the scoreboard. And that was, in fact, 
only team foul number six. So the Aces will have the ball on the baseline out of bounds rather than shooting free throws. So the next striker foul will send the Aces to the line. West pulls up, takes the shot, no good. Pace grabs the rebound and gets it over to Villanueva. Villanueva in a double team trying to get out of there, does. Gets the ball over to Lamone Marino. Stolen away by West. West takes it up, off the glass, no good. Follow up by Mendoza, no good. JR gets it back out to Crowell. Crowell's shot short. And we're gonna have a jump ball between Villanueva and Bell. Which should stay with the Striker Panthers, and it does, okay. Villanueva with a minute 50 left in the game. Down to Dams. Inside the pace, turnaround jumper up, no good. Ball bouncing loose, Mendoza grabs it, gets it to Crowell. Crowell off to the races, lays it up off the bottom of the iron, no good. Dams comes back the other way, dribbles it off his foot, gets it under control, gets it to Villanueva. Villanueva tries to get it to Rethmull. It hits him in the face and knocks his glasses off and goes out of bounds to the Aces. Crowell inbounds to West. Glad his glasses didn't break there. West. On the wing, back to Crowell. And back to West again with a minute seven. Mendoza, turnaround jumper, no good. Grabbed by Pace to Villanueva. Come back the other way with the Panthers. Under a minute in the contest. Dams on the wing. Bounce pass to Pace. Pace to Villanueva, who puts it up off the glass and good. Six points now for Mateo Villanueva. 35 seconds. West takes it across half court. Aces have this one in hand. Shot gonna be short. And Pace. Dribbled the ball out of bounds. So it should go to the Aces. Mendoza will come out of the game. Keysbury back in. So we've got DeFries, Keysbury, West, Bell, and Crowell on the floor for the Aces. West, three point land, short, out of bounds. 18.1 seconds, and the Panthers get the ball back. Dams will get it inbounds to Villanueva. Across the half court stripe with 15 seconds left. Long shot, no good, grabbed by Crowell. To West with six. And we're gonna have a jump ball with 1.8 left. As Bell got tied up. It'll be the Aces ball out of bounds. So it'll be inbounds and a couple of dribbles and this one will be over. Keysbury will hold the ball and that's it. So your final score in the eighth grade game here tonight, it's the Aces defeating the Stryker Panthers, 40 to 14, the final score. And we'll get some numbers here for you. Tabulate as quickly as I can. All right, unofficial scoring looks this way. Leading scorer for the Striker Panthers on the short end of the scoreboard was Mateo Villanueva, who had uh, three field goals in the second half for a total of six points. And then four points each for Matt Fralick 
and uh, for Jake Gaskill to tally their 14 points on the night. For the Aces, leading all scorers was Aaron Klima. Klima had seven in the first half and a bucket for two in the second half to finish the night with nine points to his credit. And Brady Balzer also seven points in the first half, two points in the second half, and Balzer finishes with nine as well. Seven points for Alex Gordon, who followed up his two first half points with five more in the second half to finish the night, seven to his account. Four points each for Maverick Keysbury, J.R. Mendoza, and uh, for Bradley Crowell. A bucket and two for Justin West, and a free throw and one point for Zach Bell. So there you have it. Earlier in the evening, the seventh graders lost to Stryker. Stryker won the seventh grade game 44 to 25, and the Aces even it up on the eighth grade side of things with a 40 to 14 victory. That's going to wrap up our coverage from the uh, junior high gymnasium here at Hicksville High School. Do want to thank you for tuning by. Hope you enjoyed our basketball coverage tonight. It's, again, just getting started on the season. We've got lots more basketball action coming your way here on Hicks TV in 2018 and 19. So with that, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to say a big thank you once again to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio, and Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, Ohio. I want to thank them both so very much for their continued support. And with that, one last time, final score in the eighth grade game, it's the Aces beating the Stryker Panthers 40-14. to And for Chris Warner on the camera, I'm Bill Murphy for Hicksville Community Television wishing you good night and good sports.